infamous dinosaur predator, T-Rex, weighed over six tons and possessed the greatest bite force of any known land-based animal. Then suddenly, 65 million years ago, T-Rex and the dinosaurs vanished from the face of the Earth. For decades, their disappearance was a mystery. Then in 1980, while examining rock strata from 65 million years ago, scientists found a thin layer of a material called iridium. Iridium is normally only found in space, so scientists turned to an extraordinary explanation for how the element came to Earth. It may have come on a gigantic meteor. They then figured out that this meteor struck our planet with a force 10 billion times more powerful than the Hiroshima atom bomb, creating a global catastrophe that killed 70% of all species, including the dinosaurs. The idea was originally met with a chorus of skepticism. Then in 1990, scientists found the 112-mile Chicxulub meteor crater off the coast of Yucatan, Mexico. It proved a meteor had indeed caused the dinosaur extinction and revolutionized the way scientists thought about the distant past. But could a meteor impact have given rise to the dinosaurs in the first place? It's a contentious new idea that's been pioneered by a research chemist named Luann Becker of the University of California, Santa Barbara. Just as iridium provided the extraterrestrial fingerprint of the Chicxulú meteor that killed the dinosaurs, Becker has found something she believes provides the evidence of the meteor impact that gave rise to them. Becker's story starts here, in Sudbury, Canada. In 1996, Becker and fellow geochemist Robert Pareda were on the hunt for an extremely rare molecule that they believed could only be created by the incredibly intense conditions of a meteor impact. Sudbury was the ideal candidate. It had recently been identified as the site where a meteor up to 12 miles across struck the Earth nearly two billion years ago. It would have been a huge, uh high velocity, high temperature, high pressure, impact exploding body. Clues that Sudbury was an impact site are still etched in the local rocks. Quite literally, in all of these rocks, if you take a look around, you see these really nice uh, shock type features, look like little pyramids, almost little teepees, but they, they literally are the representation of the, of the actual shock of the, of the impact, the asteroid or the comet, literally hitting uh, uh, the Earth. 